How's it hanging fellow Samoros and this is another episode of Sonic Frontiers and in today's episode we gotta talk to Amy. Uh, she's underneath us. But, 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 but there is another talk to Amy over here. There's also these fucking puzzles which... Oh wait, this one's locked. I can't do this one. These two, on the other fucking hand, are locked because they're available only at night, which is fucking stupid. Like, the other areas don't do this shit, it's just the first one that has puzzles that are only accessible during night time, which is dumb. There's the squid- oh fuck. They cannot catch me. What the fuck, you think I won't catch up? Check this shit out. Come back. You fucker. Ah, damn it. I wanna kill him. He's gonna fucking die. Quit game ain't no game, come back. Damn it. He doesn't even look at me. What an asshole. Maybe if I shout insults, he'll fucking notice me. Oh! He heard that I'm about to do it. Alright, fucker. Let's go. Overshot it, damn it. Lower, please. Damn it, I almost did it. This fucker killed himself, he thought I had. There we go. Thank you for waiting. I was looking at a suicide. Much funnier than that. I was watching more Andor, and man, this fucking show gets dark. Like, I guess it's leading up to a prison break, but this prison that they're in is like, it's like some really fucked up shit going on. Like they're on the ship and they're competing against each other, and they all have these like days till they get out. Whoa, that was close. Like, the show reveals to you that these ships they have are fucking bullshit. They actually will just never get out. So they're in there for the rest of them. Like, when the ship ends and they're supposed to get out, they actually just get moved to a different block. And they're back to never getting out, which is uh, lame as fuck. And yeah, basically an old man who, like, the the warden, I guess, not the warden, but like the prisoner who kind of keeps the other prisoners in check, I don't know how to describe that. I don't think that's a thing in actual prisons. <clears throat> and also the... Uh, I mean, Andrew himself. They, I guess, are about to do some kind of a... Oh, giant mirror web thing. Thank you. Also... What kind of pisses me off about these monologue scenes is that they have very specific location where they, locations where they trigger. They don't trigger just ev anywhere. Oh fuck, how do I get Amy to speak to them? The platform couldn't be any more unaccessible really. Here you go my love, lots of hearts. I bought a fucking hot... No way, I told you about that. Man, why am I keep repeating myself? I'm forgetting what I already talked about. It's like an entire day just skipped oh, and I'm wow. repeating what I fucking said. I don't think we've seen any ruins quite like this on our adventures. Yeah, they're ancient, but also look kind of... advanced. Wait, is retro sci-fi a thing? How were the tower and the floating yeah, giant stone Yeah, it's called built? Retro Future. Tails is the genius among us. Let's find him and, and I wouldn't call this these ruins out. retro. Because right. retro sure is something that's old but cool. Him. Like a Polaroid camera, for example. But these ruins are just fucking ruins. Like, would you look at a medieval castle and say it's retro? No, not really. There's something underneath this platform, right? There's an enemy. I remember there was some shit here. Oh, there's a lot of cocoa. Oh yeah, by the way, something that really fucking pisses me off about this game, because it's stupid and it's done for no fucking reason. You know how when you level up attack and defense, you walk up to this like tall cocoa old hermit, and he just simply fucking levels up automatically all of the both of these skills. Well, to level up speed, you have to talk to the other old. Uh, uh, Coco, and I'm fine with that. It's like okay, so 
this character levels up these two specific skills, but these other two are leveled up by a different guy. That's cool and all. But the thing is, if why the fuck one of the guys levels up both of your skills to the max, you know, accordingly how many of the seeds you have, but then the other guy you have to manually fucking level up level by level. So, remember how I said that I cheated and I bought so many fucking items at the end of the game with the fishing coins. Then I had to sit down and from level 1 of my speed to level 99 manually fucking do it like 98 times. And it was the most fucking annoying shit. And the skill sets. Man, I'm just fucking... Yeah, I thought this skill tree would actually expand at some point, but it doesn't. That's just your whole skill tree. Not too big, is it? Kinda of disappointed me, but uh, whatever. I think we reached the end of this area. We done all the levels. We helped the Cocos. Right? Ow, my eye. Don't get too far ahead! Maybe we should just let you them wrap fucking it up on piece their own. of shit. We have to see this through. We still haven't found tails. Yeah, who, what are you, Sonic? And taking detours the whole way. Well, you shit half finished. Like your games? Are you telling me you would leave behind someone in need? No, but I'm also worried about you. You can't help anyone if you're stuck in limbo. How are you meant to give me a hand job with your giant hand? And save me too, so gold. we can find tails. Gold job? No, that's not a thing. Sounds simple enough. You're simple enough. Simpleton. Talk to him. I just did though. And yeah, the next location is also kind of like that. Talk to this character. Go. Collect Chaos Emeralds and go talk to them again. They'll have a puzzle or a mini game or some shit. And that's how it goes. Good thing this game's exploration is lots of fun. Also, with some patch to the game. I don't know what they fixed. I didn't even run into any glitches. This is very cute. Uh oh. Oh look, Amy's fine, I think. Now we can... How about the hand job? We can discuss it, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, so apparently the... It's too dangerous. Chaos predecessors? These alien fucks? I don't know, get Cocos inside them or some shit? Or they put their souls into Cocos. I think. I don't know. I didn't read really to that part of the story. All too well. It's gonna be some wet alien sex now. Oh shit, that's how aliens talk. Is that what sex is? This was epic. Honestly, here again. Damn it's Amy's back to being a ghost. Look, this Coco had a funny hat. They better sell these Coco if it's like actually made of stone. They were reunited. Right before the end. Oh what a fucking bummer. Now. You take a minute. What the fuck? I'm is gonna that? keep moving. Also, this game is on PC, right? So I've seen a lot of mods to this game. One, for example, replaces Sonic with Rayman. One of them replaces Sonic with Sonic from Minecraft. One of them... Does a thing... I forgot what... Oh, replaces Cocos with Among Us characters. The crewmates. Right, Amy? Jesus Christ. Such a needy girl. Have some more love. Why don't you? How many times can I love you a day? Jesus. So demanding. High maintenance. Oh fuck, we're gonna have like a picnic in the poppy field? Those are poppies. 
I think. I'm pretty sure. Hey, still thinking about the cocoa? Not roses. Even though the red, just the crow. Yeah, and I already what? forgot. What more? What's there more to think about? I'm not sure what happened, but I know what I saw. A love that transcended time. I believe in that power. Huh. When this is over, I want to share that love with the world. You're so Even naive. It may take us far apart. Thanks, Amy. I don't understood it, but... Sure, what you said was know very profound. I want to hear all about it when you come back. Well, so what is with these flowers? They're kind of low poly. The camera like zoomed in on them. We gotta do an insanely difficult to pull off puzzle now. It's literally undoable and it's uh, horrible. Up, Fuck this puzzle. Look, uh, wasn't this region locked off before? I think you can interact with it now. I think you well, can. The region wasn't locked off, but. The towers were gonna interact with anything. Maybe they'll act like the other puzzle locks and show me the way to that Titan. It's worth a shot. All right, what's the right way to do this? It is like Borderlands. I'm collecting Looks vault like there's keys and there's a the vault ground. monster. This time around, call them the Titan. A grave mystery. Check it out, you press motherfucking square. You move shit around. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. But the puzzle is, two of them move at the same time. So like, what the fuck do you do? And now it's three of them. Oh my god! Ah hell! Look at this shit. I fucking pushed through. The key to solving this puzzle is, uh... Yeah. Approaching this from the wrong fucking side.
Wait a minute, I'm a moron. I just fucking know there's, there's fucking trails on the ground. You piece of shit. Fuck you, man. This shit was this easy and I was fucking struggling with it. Not to mention that totem at the bottom. It's barely fucking visible, so fuck you for that. I'll just move him around until it fucking connects. Motherfucker, you moved it again. Stop moving my shit. Check it out, I got it. I thought I was just supposed to make the longest path possible. This took me whole episode. This shit was fucking garbage. Look, Amy, I solved the Sonic? easy puzzle. I'm sensing the Titan up ahead. This is it. The big showdown. It'll be a short match if I can't find the last Chaos Emerald, though. Don't worry. I everywhere I could. It's on top of its head. I'm out of ideas. So where is it? Eh, maybe I'll find it along the way. Maybe you'll find it up your ass. Maybe Crash Bandicoot took it thinking it's a power chip. Location wasn't too big. I think the next one is uh, bigger though. Definitely two's a lot bigger. My right, first boss fight. Probably the best boss fight actually. Second one's pretty good. I'm just gonna create up like took the cutscenes. And I think it stretched them to 21 by 9. Sonic face looks kind of... what the f... Oh, I guess he boosted. I thought Sonic would be, be gone to fly. It's like, since when can fucking Sonic just fly? When's that a thing he can do? But I chose these boots and said that they won't appear in certain cutscenes, but that's bullshit, they'll keep appearing. Even in the pre-rendered cuts. That's his name. El Gigante. El Gigante, that sounds like a... That name struck familiar for some... Oh my god, I have no rings. Hold on, body -o. Some rings. Excellent. You're not gonna step over me, are you? Look, I'm just an insignificant little hedgehog. I my kids survive. That's a hedgehog too. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while. Come on. Are there like more conveniently placed ranks for me to use? Because well I'm about to go supersonic. Game that utilizes supersonic a lot. But the thing with supersonic is that uh, to use them properly, you have to have a lot of rings because then rings begin to begin to act like your timer. So this boss fight is actually time, and because I'd never invested even one skill point into my ring capacity, I only have 400 seconds to do it. I'm telling you what. That's plenty. If you know what you're doing. If you don't, then, then well, you fucking bad. And this is for real beginning to piss me off. If I fucking knew I didn't hit these many rings, I didn't notice. I have done something about that. I forgot to pick him up on the way. Like me doing groceries, I always fucking forget something. I'm sure if I draw a dick on the ground, it'll help. 
Oh, I think there's like a lot of them. I'll draw a bigger dick. That didn't look like a dick, never mind. Wait, can I? Oh, uh, maybe a little bit. Oh, wait, almost have it. Ah, fuck, I fucked it up, it's the wrong way. All gone, El Gigante. I'll defeat him. To the humiliation of me drawing a bunch of dicks on the ground. This one got a crooked dairy, that's what I was hoping for. Be more dicks like that. Oh, this one was a crooked ass dick. Wanted to do a crewmate, but fucked it up. There we go. Not only that, but when you get 400 rings, you get like upgraded boost. Now you go really fucking fast. And I look, I even got infinite boost. Which I'm not sure what triggers infinite boost and what doesn't. I think like for a little bit when you get power boost, then you have infinite power boost. But then with time the infinity goes away, but the speed doesn't. Oh fuck off, man! I I needed these fucking rings. Check out. Look at the last power gem. The purple one. It's the lean gem. Then I just went super pissed. And copyrighted music kicked in. Hopefully not. It's badass though. Okay, so watch out for his attack. Try to parry them. Because uh, that. I didn't parry. I didn't know he was gonna attack again. See, it can trigger that special finisher when you play Fred Triangle and Circle at the same time. He also likes to immediately follow that by another attack. Also, some of his animation when he gets hit looks like he's about to do an attack. It can be really misleading. I definitely struggled the first time when I played this. What the shit I was not expecting to do. What a badass his design is though. Looks like a Bantan alien. Like it's the later season when Bantan became like a teenager and shit. Now he turned into a raid party. Okay. He's firing at his laser. Clash of Clans? Totally fucking sick. Get the fuck out of me. So much damage. Yeah, it's just badass, but I kind of wish they could press 40 in this game. They don't. That's the point, though. The lasers don't do anything, they just look kind of cool. Here we go, I got it.
That's brutal as fuck. And then fire. I'm gonna stop this cutscene last five minutes because I don't feel like beginning to explore the next area. And then I destroyed the island. And everyone on it. Then I had dreams about what aliens. Right. You said Titans earlier, plural. Also, we didn't really got an explanation what the fuck this voice was and what the fuck is this run cycle. Darn it! I guess this isn't over until I pop all the big bots. Sorry, Amy. I'm feeling more like my old self. It's working. Keep going. You don't keep me waiting. You feel more annoying. You can do a fortune card reading. See ya. See, that's uh, Amy's thing. She's a superstitious bitch. She believes in all that kind of tarot bullshit. She probably believes star alignment has some kind of meaning. And zodiac signs. Look, Ed, we're going to a desert. And as you may expect, all the chaos emeralds are gonna be taken away from me, and I'll have to recollect them. Take a wild guess who's on this island. That's right, everybody. It is. Ah, oh, that's cool. I didn't want this to be easy anyway. That's trying to think of an obscure Sonic character. It is Jet the Hawk. My favorite Sonic character. How about yours? Do you guys love Jet the Hawk, or just ad adore him? I actually like Jet the Hawk. He's really cool. Just wish he was, I don't know, ever featured in a game that's not garbage. Oh, you asshole. New island, new enemies, they don't actually reuse enemies, that's nice. Silent have their own unique enemies. You know how we fought these big monsters in the first island? Well, now we're gonna fight different big monsters. There's a shark, there's like an umbrella. There's these fucking guys. These guys are annoying. They're really accurate, they're basically sniping turrets. And you gotta get close, do a spinny thing, and then beat the fuck out of them. There's these guys which are insanely annoying. I mean, annoying. Easy to kill. You just jump on them and do a fucking slam. And that's it, we gotta start exploring these islands again. And like I said, this one's bigger than the last one, so. A bit more annoying to explore, I guess. I definitely like the team, like a team a lot more. Oh, damage! Look, we're already doing puzzles. Kind of puzzle, new area. 350 on the boxer. We unlocked some map. We can then make our progress from that. Getting through this game. Little by little, but we are. See, I can go to this puzzle that's up on the map. There's like a thing over here. There's a treasure. With a bunch of medals. Now, instead of collecting hearts, we're collecting medals. In the next area, we collect wrenches. Uh, which you may have an idea who they belong to and who we'll be giving them to. That's right, it's gadget from Breast Danger. That's right, it's Coco Bank. What's up, old fuck? Okay, he didn't even fucking give me anything. That's nice of him. That's very nice. I appreciate not being helpful. See that cool tower right behind me? That's like a spinny thing. That's an enemy. We'll fight it. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.